Have you heard the exciting news yet? Amazon Q has its own extension in the Visual Studio Code marketplace. Whether you're tackling a new code base, debugging, or just speeding up your daily tasks, Amazon Q Developer is here to boost your productivity with features like inline code completion, AI-driven code analysis, and much more. As of April 30th, 2024, Amazon Code Whisperer is now part of Amazon Q in the Amazon Q extension. All of the amazing Amazon Code Whisperer functionality is now available inside Amazon Q Developer. So, let's get started. First, you need to install the Amazon Q extension. If you were already using Amazon Q or Amazon Code Whisperer in the AWS Toolkit, then simply update the AWS Toolkit and the new Amazon Q extension will be automatically installed for you. You don't need to have AWS Toolkit to use the Amazon Q extension. Let's set it up together. Open your Visual Studio Code, go to Extensions and search for Amazon Q extension. Install this extension. And now you can see a new icon for Amazon Q. Now you have two options to sign in where you can use it for free using something called as AWS Builder ID. And the second option is where you can get a pro license. You can subscribe to Amazon Q Developer Pro license and use some advanced features that we will talk about later in the video. Let's click on use for free and click continue. Now this will take you to a browser where you can sign in with your Builder ID. You need to confirm that the code that is present here matches the one in the browser. Our code seems to match, so let's confirm and continue. Now, if you have never signed in to a Builder ID or you never created a Builder ID account, this is where you can create your Builder ID account. I already have a Builder ID, so I'm just going to sign in. And that's it. Now, you have to confirm that do you want the ID extension access to your Builder ID data. You can also expand and see what all it's going to accessing and enabling. You can see allow access and that's it. You can now you can go back to your Visual Studio code. Now we have successfully connected our ID to Builder ID. Now, if you need to sign out or need to find more settings for Amazon Q, you can also click on Amazon Q in the status bar below and you can find more information or just sign out. Now, in our code, I've opened a app.py, which is just a simple application that I've been writing. And I want to know a little bit more about this code. So all I can do is select the code that I want to understand about. Let's say I'm going to select the create case function. You can simply right click and you can use the option send to Amazon Q and explain. This will send this code to the Amazon Q chat window and will ask it to explain the following code. You can see how quickly it interprets what this function is for and tries to provide some key things and a summary of what this function is all about. And that's it. Now I can continue chatting with Amazon Q and ask more questions about my code. Isn't it interesting? You can also do a lot more amazing things. Like for example, let's say I have this create case function. Now let's say based on this function, I want Amazon Q to provide me a curl command that I can run to ensure I can invoke this create case function. And you can see how quickly Amazon Q can provide me some more information about my own function. Now, this was when we were talking about Builder ID. But as I mentioned before, there is a second option for you to use a pro license where you can get more advanced features of Amazon Q. So to do that, let's quickly sign out of the Builder ID and use Amazon Q with the Pro license. Go to Amazon Q in the AWS console. Confirm your connection to IAM Identity Center. If you do not already have an organization instance connected, you should create one now. I have added link for the steps in the blog on how to set this up. Now you can subscribe and then assign the users and groups that should be end users for Amazon Q Developer. Once done, this is how it will look like. Now here, 
copy the start url and return to visual studio code and paste the start url ensure that you are in the correct region to proceed that's it you go through the authentication process again for using it with aws identity center once you've logged in, you now have two more functions that you can use in addition to all the other features that are provided with the builder ID. First, as you can see, slash dev, and you can ask Q to implement new functionality for you. So let's see, in my example, I only have a create case and a get case function. I want Q to actually define a new update case function for me. So I'm going to write that prompt and let Q create a plan for me. Now here we can see that Amazon Q has created a detailed plan for me to look at. So it's saying, I need to update the app.py. I need to add some more information there. I need to create a function called as update case and also create a route called as update case with the case ID. You also need to update the Lambda handler. Also, uh, it's also updating the template.yaml that is available for me to deploy this application using SAP. This looks great. So what I'm going to ask you is now to generate code for me. Now this activity takes a little while, so you can go ahead and make that coffee that you've been tempting for and come back and look at your screen. I'm going to speed up some of this process to save us both time. As you can see, it has suggested a new function called as update case route and also added an SF path in my Lambda handler. It has also made update to the template.yaml and I can quickly view its diff. Now, if I like these changes, I can simply say insert code and it will make those changes in all the files, or I can provide feedback and ask it to generate a more refined code as per my expectations. Now, there is another functionality that comes with the pro license that is called as slash transform. This will allow you to transform or migrate your Java 8 or 11 main projects to Java 70. Well, that's it for quick getting started. So what are you waiting for? If you like this video and want more hands-on technical content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the AWS Developers channel. And go get the Amazon Q extension installed. Get started on building in the future. Check out the links in the description below for more deep dives or exciting new ways you can actually supercharge your software development experience. Happy coding. See you in the next video.